of time that there was going to be chemistry there because this is a very performance-driven film, and this is their third time. Never, never. Um, always and only, I think, about the novel. You know, novels are hard enough to write just as it is to do something that's very original and interesting and keeps the pages turned. If I start cluttering it with, gee, is this going to be good on screen? Or this? I don't know that I could write at all. You just try to, to do the best story that you can and then, you know, eventually they'll, they'll, they might make a movie out of it. Isn't that the strangest thing? I've been very blessed in the whole film to whatever. And, and, and a lot of people have read the book, I guess, right? A lot of people have read a lot of your books. <laughs> I've heard this. I've heard this. It's, I've been, like I said, I've been very fortunate. And I've been really uh, fortunate that a lot of great films have been made. Safe Haven is no exception. People are going to like this. It's uh, it's exciting toward the end. It's got a lot of big thriller elements, and, and people are going to be surprised. I, uh, you know, I get asked about North Carolina tourism a lot, and I think that in New Bern, where I live, I, I'm, I'm one of the big tourist draws. I do know that the tourist boat floats right by my house every single day, waving as I'm sitting on the porch, and I wave back, right? Um, if I happen to see them, I don't always see them, right? But, uh, yeah, you know, it's a beautiful area of the country, and it's certainly got a lot of wonderful elements that... that that draw people to. It's got beaches and these great rivers, and you know I like to write about it because I like to live there, and I think it, and I think the environment and the the nature of that region of the country lends itself well to the kind of stories that I write. <laughs>